Hey, Knox College. And the hit of the night comes from the North Scott Xavier game. Kai Smith laying the <laughs> stick right there. He can play a little offense, can play a little defense. Unfortunately, North Scott would fall on this. Give night. me his number. Welcome. <laughs> right? Check him into the boards, Give right? You're ready number. for that one. There you go. You just got yourself a hockey game. So let me ask you, you played here back in, I think it was what, 2013? Yeah. So what yep. was the time like then? What do you hope this time now as a head coach? Well, last uh, last time I was here, you know, I wanted to accomplish something personal on on, on my professional career, and that was to play a thousand games uh, Ooh, okay. pro hockey. And now, now it's just uh, you know just pursuing my passion of hockey and giving back to the game, and and uh, you know taking my knowledge that I learned throughout the world uh, where I've played the game and been fortunate enough to do that and and give back to the boys and uh, and keep chipping away with uh, my career and see where I can take that too. Nice. October nineteenth, opening night, correct? Correct. You're get right. down there, get tickets. Let's get back to the I want to see the vibrant field. There you yeah, go. Awesome. We're going to make what sure that happens. Feeling. Let's get back to some actual. We'll go to Wilton. Senior night. Beavers hosting Cascade first quarter. Drew Keith drop backs and airs out a dime to Cade McQuillan for the 50 yard touchdown. Beavers go for two. They get up 8 0 early on. Wilton's defense shining in the next drive as Parker Carpenter comes up with the big sack. That would force a Cascade punt. Second quarter now. Keith calls his own number as he takes it in from three yards out, or down to the three, I should say. That would set up the Owen Hassel three-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion was no good, but it's 14-0 Beavers at that point. They cruise in this one, 30-0, your final score. Sixth-ranked Northeast looking to stay perfect as well as they host West Liberty, opening drive for the Rebels. It's third down, and Romeo Frosto makes a big stop for the Commas, forcing a Rebels punt. West Liberty would get the ball back. Riker Dangler with an easy score as West Liberty would take a 7-0 lead. It's always a good game when these two teams play, and it was no doubt this time as well. Northeast stays perfect, 35-34 the win. Now to Durant, where the Wildcats are down 21-0 to Beckham at halftime. The Trailblazers run game causing problems. Here's Isaac Burledge with an 11-yard touchdown run to put Beckham up 35-0 in the third quarter. And that's just how it is for the rest of the game. Beckham stays dominant, 51-0 to zero for final. We have reached another timeout. We got all the scores you're ever going to want. Brian Stocking. And the grill. And the food looks really good. We got a lot more to get to. Don't leave. This is the score. Something like that. Something like that.